Hello everyone, here I am with a final flip through for the January Junk Journal Challenge for Dear Julie Julie. Um, this journal is an all junk journal that I made for the challenge. The outside of the book is covered with a blue jean and a piece of a drape that was stained. Uh, there is two signatures in this book. This is a pocket that I did a fabric pocket with a pen. Um, there's these are little charms made out of packaging, uh, an old drape, stitching, and there's a tassel on here because everybody knows I'm not a big tassel person. Uh, made out of this is blue jeans, a piece of uh, tag from Christmas, an old key ring piece, uh, just puzzle pieces, piece of wire that I bent, and another just a little piece of gold packaging. I'm trying to make sure this stays in frame because these rolls are not in the greatest place. <laughs> okay, so the beginning of the book, um, this has a lot of calendar pages fabric bits and pieces. This was from one of the mini challenges, I think mini challenge four. Put this out, a little card in here. Uh, lots of these are made from packaging. There's a little tag that just says keepsake. And I wanted to put all sorts of funny things from advertisements and things in this. So there's a little chair cut out couple different uh, mini challenge pieces. There's another mini challenge piece. I think that one had something to do with numbers. Um, lots of pictures of the West Coast. The whole theme of this is West Coast. This is a tag. It comes out of here. And this, that's taken from the other side in the winter. A uh, piece of the bag. Uh, these pages are some that I had and they were dyed, I dyed them but it's actually from um, when you get the car fixed and they give you pages and pages of printout. I keep saving them and I have tons of them so I dyed them in ages ago and then just glued them together. Fabric flip. Put this in frame. Lots of pictures of things around here. Uh, starfish. That's light out in Sydney coming into the harbor. Top tuck. This is the cover off an old phone book. I thought it was really cute. Stuck that in. Little bits of different things stuck on it. Another picture of the West Coast. This was the belly band card underneath there with a flip on it. This is all junk. Totally junk. Um, calendars people were throwing out. Things to me a little mini envelope out of an advertisement with a piece of a calendar in there. Napkin. I think that was one of the challenges. Uh, this is a picture of the coast. These are mussels. Those are barnacles. And this stuff here is kelp. And if you've ever eaten nori or uh, different things, this is actually the type of kelp that goes in. In so waterfall page. This is made out of magazine, a magazine advertisement. And I just made little different things. That's a Vancouver Island marmot. Um, this was a cartoon I found in a magazine or somewhere. Some junk. I thought it was really cute. A couple of sea lions looking at a seagull. And the third one has like a little typewriter thing in it. Um, so magazines around here um, that you get for free, they're not really magazines per se as... Oh, my paper clip made out of junk. Um, this was from a 
Epic Mini Challenge 4. There's a little pug wearing a sweater. It's so cute. Um, they're not really magazines. They're more like a real estate fake magazine. It's You open it up. It's, it has some pictures and things. But it's mostly real estate um, advertising. It's pretty bizarre. This is actually up on the west coast of Vancouver Island. And this is sandstone that's been eroded by the ocean waves. Undersea picture of a some kind of tube worm. Uh, different things. Another top tuck with a phone book page. And I just put Creative Journey in there. There's a lot of word art in this one that I don't normally do. Uh, Pacific Dogwood. You can tell it's from a magazine. One of our local real estate fake magazines. Uh, this is folds out. This picture of the beach. I think that's a oh, Witties. I'm not sure. Uh, this is from a calendar. Uh, I put a few drizzle on here. That was kind of fun. Uh, double tuck with calendar pieces. And I made a little mini tag out of packaging. And this was actually from the same package. And that was from the same package. And then there's all sorts of um, junk mail that comes. It's got all sorts of silly things. So I put a Douglas for, uh, spruce cone in the back of a pickup. I thought it was kind of silly. Um, rather than coloring book, I just took these out of the real estate brochures. They have a lot of these line drawings. In them. So it's kind of fun. Um, I just had this. From Wonder Fuca Search and Rescue, it's actually a thing to remind you to do a trip plan if you're going backcountry. Um, a picture from a tea brochure. And some other packaging that I got that I thought was sort of interesting. So, going to the second signature. I'm going to do this cord. And that was from, what the heck was that from? It was junk. Um, I forgot what I cut it out of. That was silly. Something silly. So the envelope ensemble is here. And it opens up. These are two envelopes. And this is just a, a little pocket. That was a sticker I had kicking around. So there's a matchbook in here. Matchbook notepad. So that's just a typical West Coast picture. This was also, I think, from a phone book. Old phone book, Pumming Bird, and another card that I was just goofing around on with. And to decorate the envelope ensemble, I used Canadian Adventure Spaces Trees. So it has different things with it. So second signature, that's a picture of the Inner Harbor downtown. I had that saved from a real estate flyer for oh, years. I just like the picture. Uh, another one of those out of a magazine that is just a drawing. Real estate magazines are everywhere here. It's mostly a real estate brochure, but they say it's a magazine, but it's really a brochure. Um, this one is made from a voucher. And I just stuck it down. Made that. Oh, right. Napkin. It was one of the challenges. And also from a magazine. I laminated a lot together. Just really like that picture. I thought it was fun. And you can see these are actually, a lot of these pages are from a brochure from a tea shop. I thought was kind of fun. Uh, this one it says collections on it. It opens out. It's a picture of. This is called the one of Fufa Street. And part of it is Harrow Street. And it's got a couple different names. They've changed it to the Salish Sea. Uh, you can't see it because it's overclass, but actually, the United States is right about there. And on the side, there's just the forest. Then it flips the writing space and it flips out again. Another piece from a real estate ad. 
And then the little decals here, little stickers, are just cut from different pieces of punch drum packaging. And it has the flip flop in there. Um, again, you can tell this, a lot of this came from real estate. Uh, there's a picture of a house. Funky old typewriter picture I found in the magazine. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, picture of the Northern Lights. There's all kinds of tape or something in there. Yes, it does. Um, so this was one of the challenges. I'll show you the picture. It's really a beautiful picture. This is a picture of Mount Baker looking across. This is the Strait of Georgia up in. No, this is the Sailor Sea. Street of Georgia is over down in there. Um, and this is Phyllis and I. So that's very typical of the area where I live. And the opposite side, there's a card and a calendar page. You can see it's made out of crap. Um, this one is, that is actually a close-up picture of leading up to Mount Baker. Oh, that was just a little card that came in the mail with some junk mail, and I just covered it for something to do. Uh, yeah, that's a little pocket. And the pocket is another one of the mini challenge cards. You can see there's more of that coloring sort of page. It's not exactly coloring page, but uh, this was the wallet. I put in um, Sherringham Point Lighthouse. This is Sherringham Point. There's a tag back there. Typical West Coast. Uh, a bunch of pictures of birds, sailboats, sailboats. Uh, yeah, birds. Little thing of the National Lighthouses. More birds. for the pack and just a picture of somebody sitting on the beach. Postage stamp. A piece I ripped out of a magazine. Stuff. Um, this is actually a different lighthouse. This is called Fiskard Lighthouse. It's a National Historic Site and it's still a working light. That's down at the entrance to Scrumble Harbor. This I just wanted to put in. Um, that's down at the harbor at Sydney at the arena. You open it up. And it's got reading space in there. Picture of cappuccino. And that's some packaging. And just the uh, wrappers off the tea. Another image from a tea brochure. Uh, this was one of the challenges. I used a library card and covered it with a picture from a Freebie calendar. I've got pictures in Sydney. And then this one says, Know Your Salish Sea. And that's Mount Baker again in the background. I put as unique as, as, unique as you. That's another one. And this is from one of the local stores. It's one of their ads. Uh, I just chopped up their ad because I thought she was kind of cute. Mermaid paddling a canoe. Uh, Northern Lights. One of the challenges in there, that's in Sydney, again. Really easy to get pictures of Sydney around here. And it opens out and there's a car in the back. Sydney's about a 15 minute drive from where I live. Uh, got here. Well, that's downtown. One of the real estate properties that we're trying to vlog, other half of that thing. This one, it's double wallet. So there's two tags there. One's just talking. Uh, this one just opens out. It's an Emily car on the front with a. And I just did that. I almost used. I used the entire page of this advertisement. It's actually an ad for vodka. And if you look very closely in the back here, you can't really see it. But this was a picture of the Carmana Valley, and these are like thousand year old trees. It's kind of cool. Uh, I was goofing around with uh, junk and this is a fishing rod out of an ad. 
and I made fish tail and just put some sparkly stuff just for fun. Again, one of the mini challenges. I made this in the mini challenge. Tag with it. So, more of that metal stuff. Another mini challenge just flips up. And there's a tag in here that says British Columbia. And flip it over, and there's a little hummingbird drawing on the back. And I really like this picture of this fern, so I stuck it in. Just because I liked it. <laughs> um, this one was, I think, again, maybe one of the challenges. I'm pretty sure. Because I would never stick a ticket on, on my own. Oh, yeah. Napkin on the back. And then there's another little pocket in here, and I just put a paper clip there. I don't know why. I just did. <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye.